So no, I did not do a video last week. Sorry, I, I was so busy, uh, I couldn't get to it last week. But hey, if you're new, thank you for taking a few moments out of your day to check out the channel. We're just gonna go over and review how ETFs are performing in different sectors. Uh, I just, uh, uh, so I gotta say it here real quickly, I am not a financial advisor. I'm not telling you to buy any of these ETFs. It's just a little fun comparison just to see how they're all performing against each other. Uh, for those that are always joining me, thank you for joining me. And yes, I have to, uh, I, I appreciate it, man. I truly do. Uh, I did my first short video uh, yesterday and um, for YouTube. I've never done one. And I was asking, you know, what is the, what REITs do you guys invest in? And if you haven't already let me know, let me know down here in the comments. And this is REIT stocks, not uh, ETFs. I mean, you can throw me ETFs down there. I, I'd love to see. Uh, but if you're if you're into REITs in general, I love seeing what you guys have uh, you know have invested in. I think I have narrowed down the ones that I want to invest in. I already invested in one, which was uh, Realty Income, but um, I'm st I'm going to add that one in with the next bunch so I can do a comparison. Even though I already have a position in it, I'll just have two. Uh, but uh, I, yeah, I think I've narrowed down the others that I want to put into that thing. So you guys, that video will be coming soon. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking that'll be a Monday video. So I'll have Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and then Wednesday, Thursday kind of thing. So anyway, I've been rambling, rambling, rambling. Let's take a look at the, the fear index real quick. And then you can see we're at 13, which is still bad. Extreme fear, uh, previous close was 13. A week ago was 15. Extreme fear a month ago. We were 32, which is fear, and a year ago, we were at 29 in fear. We just can't get out of this fear. So you saw the markets, but here's a little more in depth of how the markets have been forming over the last uh, you know, year to date, five days, one year, three year. I've added the three year. I wanted to add some more uh, uh, you know, dates in there. <laughs> I couldn't get the words out for you guys. Uh, so I added in a three year. So we have one year, three year, and five year, and see how the you know this is you know they've been performing. Uh, so that's just real quick, just to you know, there's, I don't want to spend a whole lot of time on it, but if you guys can see that there, so let's jump into our first, um, uh, uh, which is growth. I can't talk. I never can. Ever actually can I never? All right, here you go. Uh, I don't know if this is going to just block me out or if it's going to be down in the bottom, but uh, here you go. Uh, you know, last day, uh, JMOM had performed the best with a positive 1.47%, and SPGP was the worst performer uh, today with a, a positive 0.93%. That's good to see some green on them grows. Uh, and about, you know, it seems like every time we get some green, we end up getting slammed with some red the next day. <laughs> so uh, we'll soon see, right? Uh, five day, oh, uh, let's see, SPGP again, um, but this time taking the, the first place slot with a positive 1.43 and uh, QQQM at a negative 0.06%. I had to double check there for some reason. I thought I saw two, and I was going to say, yeah, it should be a uh, should be a tie in there, but it's not. Year to date, SPGP again the best performer at a negative 13.82%, and VUG uh, was the worst performer at a negative 28.17%. Let's jump out one year. SPGP again is holding that first place slot at a negative 2.60%. And the worst performer, again, is uh, VUG, holding it at negative 14.64%. Uh, all right, let's jump out three years. This is the new column, man. This is really good. I like I like seeing these so we can actually see everything in one spot. Ah, three years out, the best performer is QQQ with a positive 64.10%. And the worst performer was JMOM uh, with a positive 37.73%. Five years out, now it changes up again. We go back to SPGP with a positive 111.16%, and the worst performer is IUSG at a positive 78.57%. And there, at the very end, you guys can see the 52-week uh, the week low and 52-week high. All right, I think I drug it out long enough for everybody to see what you need to see, so let's go into the, uh, the dividends, the dividend ETFs. Best performer today was RDVY at a positive 1.84%, and the worst performer VPU at a positive 0.07%. Five days ago, let's see, the best performer, or five days out, uh, was the best performer was DGRW at a positive one point, I mean, the worst performer was <laughs> DGRW at a, a positive 1.52%, and the best performer was VY. 
MI, the international one, at a positive 3.57%. Okay, year to date, DHS positive 8.52%, and the worst performer is SDIV at a negative 14.59%. One year out, it stays the same with the worst performer as SDIV is holding that spot at 26.56 negative, and the best performer is VPU at 12.95% positive. All right, three years out, the best performer is CDC at a positive 62.22%, and the worst performer is SDIV yet again at a negative 38.17%. Five years out, let's jump all the way out to five years. SCHD is the best performer at a positive 69.88%, and the worst performer again is SDIV at a negative 51%. 0.07%. And again, the 52-week low and the 52-week high for you guys there. Let's move on into the covered calls. All right, here we go. Today, who was the best? BT, BST was a positive 2.03%, and the worst was GL, uh, GLDI at a negative 0.25. So five days out, Jeffy, positive 1.89%. And the, uh, that's the best performer. And the worst performer is QRMI at a negative 2.82%. Year to date, USOI positive 8.86%. And that BSTZ was negative 47.1%. Uh, that is the worst performer year to date. And uh, if, if you guys follow my uh, cover call channel uh, or videos, you can, you'll know that the BSTZ has just been taking a beating. Uh, anyway, uh, let's go out one year. As, uh, I guess BSTZ again is the worst performer at a negative 43.06% and the best performer, uh, I hope I said worst performer, the best performer would be again USOI at a positive 15.54%. Let's go out three years. Now it changes. USOI is the worst performer at negative 74.88% and the best performer is DIVO at a positive 21.55%. Five years out, and it changes up again. We have BST, I always wanna say BSTZ, BST at a positive 64.9%, and the worst performer is SLVO at a negative 47.31%, and your 52 week high and low. All right, so let's take a look at the, the S&P comparisons. This is something I just kind of threw together, and that uh, way we can just kind of see the you know, S&P 500 uh, ETFs kind of compare, uh, battle on each other here. Uh, the best performer today, uh, today was SPLG at a positive 91, and the uh, worst performer was VU at a 0.83 positive. And SPY and IVV were tied 88, 0.88. Five days out. Uh, we got IVV as the best performer at 1.45%, and the worst performer was VU again at a positive 1.35%. Year to date, SPLG best performer at negative 16.25, and the worst performer is VU at a 16.35 negative. And for some year, I'm going to have to check that. Uh, my one year did not highlight, but we can look at that real quickly and see the worst performer was VU at a negative 5.02%, and the best performer was IVV at a negative 4.91%. Three years out, we got the best performer would be VU three years out is 4190, and then you have the worst performer would be IVV at 4154. And you can see how these are just really, really close. They should be anyway. Uh, and, and five years out, SPLG is 64.94, and the worst performer, IVV, at a 64.12. All right, we're just moving right along here. Let's take a look at the leveraged. Oh, the leveraged, the ones that I really don't know a whole lot about. I don't, I don't do anything in leveraged, but here we go. Best performer today was Gush. Positive 7.88 and G U N G J U N G was the worst performer at a negative 1.82%. Uh, five days out, uh, Gush is again the best performer at a 17.47%. F N G U was the worst performer at a negative 6.42%. Well, year to date, at that F N G U is uh, the worst performer yet again at a negative 98.73%. And the best performer is NRGU at a 272.49% positive. That's a lot. Let's go out to one year. 
Uh, again, let's see, the best performer is NRGU at a 315.3 positive, and the worst performer is LABU at a 90.4 negative. Wow, that's 330. Now, this is the one I didn't get a chance to get the three year in. I'll have that in there next week uh, so you guys can have another you know, uh, time frame to, to look at. Uh, five years. We have TECL, it's the best performer at 330.28%, and the worst performer is Gush at negative 98.11%. And then there's your 52 week high and low yet again. And lastly, let's take a look at the REIT. Now this is REIT ETFs, not stocks. Now I've put a chart together for the stocks, and, but that is gonna be on the, uh, the REIT video that'll be coming out on Mondays. All right, so let's take a look at it real quickly here. We got REIT, R-E-I-T is the best performer today, 1.27% positive. And WTRE was the worst performer at a positive one, is 0.16. Man, it's all these numbers, man. I feel like I feel like I'm reading from uh, white pages. <laughs> Those who've been watching my channel know what I'm talking about. All right, five day, man. Who's the best performer? WTRE with a positive 4.18%, and the worst performer RWR at a positive 1.53%. Now I gotta scroll that real quick. Is that does that? Yeah, okay, that is correct. Okay, uh, year to date. We have the best performer is REIT, again, REIT, at a negative 13.19%, and the worst performer would be SPRE at a negative 19.36%. Going out one year, and it changes up here, we got NURE, the best performer at 5.77%, and the worst performer, whew, WTRE, at a negative 27.89%. Three year out. Here we go. XLRE is the best performer at a positive 19.99%. And the worst performer is WTRE at a negative 36.12%. And those same two hold the uh, the five year as well. Uh, you can see that our XLRE is a positive 35.53, and uh, WTRE holds the worst performance slot at a negative 34.22%. So there you go, guys. That's going to wrap up the rule, you know, just to see how they're all performing there. Uh, as always, guys, if, uh, if you liked what you see here, uh, give me a thumbs up, smash the like button. Smash the like button. Uh, and uh, sub to the channel if you're new to the channel. Uh, we kind of most of the stuff we do on this channel is all about ETFs. I do a a, a breakdown on um, a dividend ETFs on on Sundays, on Saturdays. I do a covered call breakdown on ETFs, and I, that's where I have the portfolio competitions going against each other. And now we'll be doing a, a REIT stock uh, uh, competition, and that'll be on Mondays. And this is just a this is just a midweek review. So uh, there you go. And and as always, man, down here below, uh, I have uh, some links in the description there if you guys are interested in M1, Weevil, and if you're into crypto, I have a Gemini link down there. It's all kinds of offers. It changes all the time, so just look at the offers down there. It helps you, helps me. We both walk away happier people, right? So, all right, well, I'll end it there. I probably rambled on long enough with all this. Uh, I appreciate you guys, as always, man. And again, thank you so much for giving me uh, those comments and and. Uh, and some insight into what you guys like to uh, invest in as far as the reads go. I really appreciate that. Sorry, right, I'll shut up and let you guys get back to your day. See you guys this weekend. <laughs>